Hey friends, Rusty Miner coming at you with a knife review, a couple of knives. Uh, we're going to be looking at an Effingrau and a Citivin. And interestingly enough, they come in the same boxes. Uh, this is the Effingrau uh, EF957. And this is the Citivin uh, ST101. So, what I thought you'd show you is a difference in the... Um, the boxes themselves. Uh, and this one, uh, the Citivin, which is this knife here, and it has some foam as well as a microfiber cloth. And the uh, Effingrau, well, you guys have probably got those before, uh, and that's going to be this knife here, and where it did not get. Uh, the foam in there so I'm gonna do two videos uh, so I can highlight each knife separately but I'm gonna do one cut test at the end so stick around for them all thanks guys okay guys let's first take a look at the Citivin ST111 uh, we are looking at G10 this is very nice G10 uh, smooth it just it just feels good uh, we got steel liners we got open frame construction. Uh, we got some barrel spacers here. Uh, those are some nice barrel spacers. We have some jimping on the flipper tab. Looks like a pretty decent stop pin in there. Go around to the pocket clip. This is the same pocket clip I got on my Free Tiger. Uh, FT904, which also is an Effingrau 926, EF926. So kind of what we're seeing here is what uh, you guys are suspecting. We just got, uh, seems like we got a lot of those different companies sharing the same parts. But we got a lanyard hole right there. So that's what we're looking at. And as it said, it's a flipper tab. Got a nice tall grind to this. It's got a flat grind and it looks like a bead blasted blade here. So uh, it's a good one. We're going to do a cut test at the end here. And there's your swedge uh, across the top. So it's a harpoon blade. You can bring your thumb into here or your finger forward like that. Uh, action on this good it's, uh, you know for brand new I can see when we're in here I can see a little bit of white probably like uh, lube and I think that this is going to break in uh, better when we take it apart so uh, clean it up you guys can see in there we got some skeletonization so lock up yeah that's good that looks good like i said that's a pretty nice size liner for lock up uh ergos it's a it's a good size handle feels pretty good uh, it's not really chamfered along here you can feel it in you know the metal right there kind of cutting into you but yeah we're gonna do some size comparisons here i'm gonna bring out my rat model one so when we're taking a look at these two you guys can see it's actually yeah i think it's got a bigger blade you know this rat has a uh, full flat grind all the way to the top and this one is almost there so uh, when we we don't have any jimping up top here across the back so how do they look folded up here okay about the same space there and that's what we're looking at there so uh, I also happen to have with me uh, the ST uh, 219 so we'll take a peek at that one I do have a review out on this one 
This one, by the way, guys, has the uh, D2 steel, and this one is 9CR 18MOV with Delbergia handles. Again, not a great pocket clip on this one. Um, you know, the action did pretty good. Uh, I got some video out on that. I'm using it in some cut tests. Uh, this one... Yeah, this, I think it'll loosen up. I think we can get the, the action on there, but really for being just straight out of the box, looking pretty good. So, all right, guys, hang on for the cut test. Okay, we're going to do a couple cut tests here. We got the uh, Effingrau 957 with D2. Just cutting through. This is factory edge. Just got the, the knife today. And that's what we're looking at with the two with the F and Ground 957. Uh, one of my favorite things to cut is foam peanuts. Uh, it's not really my favorite thing, but to test an edge. And we hit something there. Okay, might have been a harder piece of foam, but I don't know what we got going there. So we'll flip it this way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so that's good. Let's try our Citivin ST111. See how we're doing. I'll bring this paper cut test. Oh yeah. Hey, not bad, not bad. So it'll cut paper. Uh, how about we grab some more foam? That's kind of, for me, that's another test. We got to see uh, how it does. And it's, okay, same thing. We got, must have a piece of foam that's sort of tough in the center there. So, all right. And I'm watching this through the camera without my reading glasses, so. Yeah, that was nice. That one was pretty nice. So actually, and this is the effing ground. I don't think these blades need any work. I'm impressed with both of them. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.